This is Fire Prevention Week in Kelowna, and this year the fire department is targeting lithium-ion batteries. Uh, the National Fire Prevention Association each year picks a topic uh, based on current life safety trends. And unfortunately, we've been getting a lot of fires with lithium-ion batteries. Uh, lithium-ion batteries uh, pose, I'm not going to say a significant threat, but they do pose a threat to the public should they not be used and stored properly. So how can people with e-bikes and other devices keep themselves safe? Johnson said it's especially important to be vigilant when charging. You should always, always supervise when you're, when you're charging your battery, for example. You have to use the right equipment for charging the battery. Uh, many people modify their bikes. I've seen many modified bikes. Um, they'll, use, they'll buy an upgraded uh, uh, cell phone charger, computer charger, in order to get a faster charge on their, on their devices. And unfortunately, that can overheat the unit, cause short circuiting within the unit, and consequently we'll have a fire. The Kelowna Fire Department is visiting auto dealers, auto body shops and repair garages to explain the dangers posed by damaged lithium ion batteries. If you take uh, an average electric vehicle, and that electric vehicle does catch fire. It's an exothermic fire, meaning if we throw water on it, it's going to be burning without, without oxygen, essentially. It'll, it'll burn all by itself. Now, just to compound problems, uh, it also creates 100 heavy metal compounds while they're burning. Um, I mean, the, the reality is after these burn and after our guys are exposed to these fires, they should actually be disposing of their turnout gear. You can find out more tips on the City of Kelowna website under Fire Prevention Week. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Cindy White.